NASA just dropped an alert about 3i Atlas that changes everything we thought we understood. This comet should be dying right now. Weeks past perihelion, moving away from the sun, cooling down, activity should be dropping off smoothly following every prediction model we have. Instead, it's doing the complete opposite. The brightness isn't fading like it should. New shells are appearing in the coma. Fresh bursts of activity that weren't there before. The tail is sharpening, not dissolving. And here's what makes this impossible to ignore. The non-gravitational acceleration hasn't dropped. Those jets are still firing, still pushing the comet around weeks after they should have shut off. NASA's orbital calculations confirm it. 3i Atlas is still steering itself with gas vents when it should be behaving like a dead rock driven purely by gravity. Subscribe right now because what we're about to show you is an object defying every model exhibiting behavior we've never seen in an interstellar visitor. And nobody knows if this is the final act or the build up to something catastrophic. Let's break down what NASA just confirmed. Start with baseline expectations because understanding what's supposed to happen makes what's actually happening so much stranger. When a typical comet swings past the sun, there's a predictable pattern, approach from the outer solar system, solar heating, vaporizes surface ices. Gas carries dust creating the coma and tail, peak activity at perihelion, then smooth decline as the comet moves away and cools. After perihelion, activity should drop off in a nice curve. Less heat means less gas. The coma shrinks, the tail fades, the whole show gradually winds down until you're left with a dark, quiet rock drifting back into deep space. That's the script. That's what our models predict. That's what we see with the vast majority of comets. 3i Atlas is not following that script. Not even close. This object passed perihelion weeks ago. By now, based on distance from the sun, it should be noticeably dimmer. Brightness should be dropping at a steady rate. Gas production should be falling everything winding down. But when astronomers compared brightness measurements from last week to today, something jumped out immediately. The comet hasn't dimmed the way it should. Yes, it's slightly fainter than peak, but the drop is way too small for how far from the sun it is now. If you overlay the predicted light curve, the brightness at different distances, on top of actual observations, they match up at first. But then, right after perihelion, the real measurements peel away from the prediction. The predicted curve drops smoothly. The real brightness runs flat. It's like the comet looked at our predictions and said, yeah, no, I'm doing my own thing. What this means, 3i Atlas is still pumping out gas and dust at a rate more consistent with being close to the sun than being on the way out. It's acting like it's still being cooked, even though it's not. You might think maybe there's leftover glow residual material hanging around in the coma, taking time to dissipate. That could explain sustained brightness, right? Except the images completely contradict that explanation. When astronomers took the newest deep exposures and stacked them to bring out faint details, what they saw was not a coma fading quietly. What they saw was structure, layers, activity. The coma is being actively fed by fresh material. You can actually see multiple shells in the inner coma faint arcs of gas and dust nested inside each other like tree rings. Each shell represents a pulse of activity, a burst of gas escaping from the nucleus. The outer shells match earlier pulses we already knew about. But there's an inner shell that's new. It wasn't there in earlier image stacks, it just showed up. That means at least one new burst of activity happened recently, not weeks ago near perihelion, but late in the game, when things should be calming down. When the comet should be getting quieter, it instead had another outburst. It threw off another wave of gas and dust. And the tail? Instead of shrinking into a thin, lazy streamer, the tail is still crisp, still defined. The latest images show a sharper, more defined spine, a bright central line of dust running down the middle. That's exactly what you'd expect from an active jet, from a vent on the nucleus that's still firing that hasn't switched off yet. Here's the most telling part buried in NASA's alert, the orbit solution. Every time new position measurements come in, NASA updates orbital calculations, where the comet's been, where it is, where it's going. To get those calculations accurate, they account for non-gravitational forces. Most space rocks are driven purely by gravity, but comets are different. When actively venting gas, 
those jets act like tiny rocket thrusters. Gas shooting out in one direction pushes the nucleus in the opposite direction. Newton's third law, those little pushes add up. They change the comet's trajectory in measurable ways. So orbital calculations include non-gravitational terms, extra accelerations accounting for jets pushing the comet around. If 3i Atlas were calming down, if jets were switching off, those terms should be shrinking. The comet should behave more like a dead rock driven almost entirely by gravity with less push from jets. That's not what the new calculations show. The magnitude of non-gravitational acceleration hasn't collapsed. It's holding steady. In some directions, it's even a hair stronger than a few updates ago. That means the jets are still firing. The comet is still pushing itself around. It's still steering itself with gas vents weeks after perihelion when it should be shutting down. To understand what's going on, think about how heat moves through a comet nucleus. It's not like heating a rock in your oven where everything warms evenly. Comets are porous, layered, full of pockets and voids, mixtures of ice, frozen gases, dust, and rock jumbled together. When the comet was near the sun, the surface got cooked first. Solar radiation heated outer layers. The ice is there vaporized, giving us wild early activity. Big outbursts, bright flashes, all the dramatic stuff near perihelion. But heat doesn't stop at the surface. It conducts inward. It migrates down into deeper layers. And this isn't fast, it takes time. So right now, even though the comet is farther from the sun and the surface is cooling, there's still a heat wave moving through the interior, reaching pockets of ice deeper down that haven't been touched yet. Some of these ice pockets have been frozen for billions of years, possibly since this comet formed in another star system, possibly before our solar system even existed. And now, for the first time in billions of years, they're getting warm. When those deep pockets finally cross their threshold temperature, when they get hot enough to vaporize, they don't care that the comet is technically farther from the sun. They don't care it's supposed to be calming down. They vent anyway. The ice turns to gas. The gas pushes through cracks and fractures in overlying layers and bursts out at the surface. That's why the activity curve has bumps instead of smooth decline. Each bump is a new layer waking up. Each bump is a pocket reaching vaporization point. And every time that happens, it's gas from a different location inside the nucleus, from a pocket under different pressure with different chemical composition, finding different routes to the surface. New fractures open, old fractures widen, the balance between vents shifts, from outside we see new shells in the coma, new structure in the tail, brightness patterns that don't match predictions, and non-gravitational acceleration that refuses to go away. Here's why this alert matters. An active comet is under constant stress. Gas pushing through cracks exerts force on surrounding material. Jets firing from off-center points create torque, twisting the nucleus. If rotation changes from jet activity, that changing spin pulls on weak regions, creates stress patterns. We've watched comets in our solar system follow this exact path. They stay active, keep staying active when we think they should calm down, and then one day, they're not a single nucleus anymore. They're a string of fragments. The stress was too much. Something gave way. A fracture propagated through and the comet broke apart. Right now, there's no confirmed split in 3i Atlas. The inner core still looks like one object, but if this comet stays active this long, at this intensity, the risk grows every day. Every new layer that vents adds more torque, more internal pressure trying to crack the nucleus open, more thermal stress as different parts heat and cool at different rates. If activity tapers off in the next few updates, if jets fade smoothly and everything winds down, this is just one more wild chapter in an incredible story. But if activity keeps hanging on, if more shells keep appearing, if the tail keeps sharpening, if non-gravitational push refuses to drop, we're in uncharted territory. We're watching an object from another star system stay alive longer than models predicted, push itself harder than we thought possible, and nobody knows what that means. Is 3i Atlas heading for breakup, or does it have internal strength we haven't accounted for? Drop your prediction below. Subscribe for updates as NASA tracks this daily. We're writing the textbook on interstellar comet behavior in real time.